Good morning, everybody. Um, ordinarily, this is a beverage review channel, but today we are going to try something very special. Allow me to set the scene briefly. The year is 1950. Everyone throughout the world is enjoying the lovely Gros Michel banana. It's delicious. It's creamy. It's what modern day artificial banana flavor is based on. Allegedly. Allegedly. However, in the 1950s, a fungus wipes out the world's monocultured banana crop, leaving banana farmers with few choices than to introduce the inferior Cavendish. The only way to get rid of the fungus was to burn the crop. They burned the bananas, folks. These grow shell bananas wiped out. So banana farmers introduced these Cavendish bananas. Not as good, not as creamy, not as sweet, allegedly. Now, today we are trying something very exciting. We are going to be sampling a Gros Michel banana from a farm grown in Miami. Uh, shouts out Miami Fruit for sending us this lovely box. Um, I have uh, prepared two plates to see uh, if this is something that we would be able to notice immediately. So Mike and Sydney will be blindfolded. Um, and we are gonna go ahead and start that up right now. So, Mike, please take a banana from this plate. Am I on the right track? It slices, yeah, you're on the right track, you're hovering. Okay. Sydney, take a banana from this plate. I will also make a banana from this plate. All right, go ahead. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, okay. Did I get the regular banana? I don't know. I don't know. Is the new plate in front of me? No, nothing is in front of you yet. Should we do a, pal a brief palate cleanser? Mike, mm -hmm. I can grab you your water. Uh, could you please? Mm -hmm. I think you're seeing the Gros Michel banana. Really? I don't know, no. I need to try them. <laughs> Alright. Cleanse, cleanse your palates. Uh, okay, palate is cleansed. Okay. Now, Mike and Sydney sample a banana from this plate. Am I on the right track? You are on the plate. You're touching the plate. I'm touching You're touching the banana. <laughs> okay. Sydney. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Eat. Eat. That's slimy. Oh wow. No, that's a Gros Michel banana. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. You may take your blindfolds off. You are correct. <laughs> Yay. That was the Gros Michel banana, the second one you had. What are your thoughts? I, I want to try them non-blind. See, yeah, that it, it has a different flavor. Like, this is... It's a, stronger, it's a stronger flavor. It is. Like, that's banana. Mm -hmm. This is also a banana, but a, a Gros Michel banana. The texture is different. I don't know if I'd say it's sweeter though. It's just different. It's different. It's a different flavor. It's like I do get the banana, artificial banana thing though. I I, I get that too. Yeah. That makes sense to me. Hmm. I I th I think I like it better than a normal I, banana. I do too. I do. It's it's mm -hmm. kind of more of a treat, you know. It, yeah, like I like I'm excited. Like we have a lot of these. I'm gonna eat them, and it's like. That's, wow. I think it is better. Yeah, this is like blander. Normal the, banana. The normal, normal banana. banana. Yeah, yeah banana. normal banana is like blander. There's a bit of a color difference even. Like this is the Gros Michel, this is the Cavendish. Like this is whiter and like starchier, I guess. Yeah, and this is like the texture is more like, I can't describe it, but like. Yeah. More like dense. And these are both, I would say it's like a ripeness thing, but they're pretty much exactly the same ripeness. Um, yellow. Yellow. This one is so much bigger. That's another thing, yeah. They're they're much larger. GMOs. GMOs. Gros Michel bananas. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um 
Yeah, so there's the size difference. What do you think about the packaging, Sydney? <laughs> um, classic banana packaging. You t t peel, peel the top, peel it down. Well, some, <laughs> some would dispute this, and they would peel it from the bottom. That's crazy. Um, okay, I'm going to try one more little slice here of the Grow Michelle. Good banana. Yeah, very good. Superior banana. Um, I'm glad we did this. Yeah, mm -hmm. just in the interim while we're enjoying our bananas, let's uh, thank all the monkeys out there mm. for introducing us to bananas. Yes, they love them, um, and so do we. And, and we also love monkeys. Yeah, the monkeys are a big part of this household. They are. Um, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, um, let's get into final reviews. Um, <laughs> I don't really know how to review this. Like, I feel like I'm just going to say the girl Michelle is better than the other banana. Yeah, I'll, gi I'll um, give a normal banana, like... On the the fruit scale, like on the on the sliding fruit scale, I'd give a normal banana like a seven. Uh, Y'all like know I didn't like bananas till like a month ago. I know, I know. <laughs> so I'm gonna give a normal banana a seven, and I'm gonna give the girl Michelle an eight. After training myself to like bananas in the interest of my potassium levels, I would probably give a banana a a six on the fruit scale. I'd give the Grove Michelle a seven, seven point five. Wow. I'm gonna give normal banana a seven point five and I'm I'm gonna give a Grove Michelle an eight point five. Wow. You know, it's up there. It's a scrumptious banana. A scrumptious banana. Yeah. It's really slimy. It's slimier than the regular banana. You think so? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I just try to lift it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, very sad. There it is, folks. The Girl Michelle banana. Um, delicious. I'm looking forward to eating these for the rest of the week. Anyone have any parting words? Um, go monkey mode. Go monkey mode. What? Enjoy your bananas.